Imagine a young child, lying on a grassy hill, staring up at the night sky. The stars twinkle above, forming a captivating spectacle. Each tiny speck of light, a distant sun, ignites the child's curiosity. The cool night air is filled with the soft chirping of crickets, but the child's attention is held captive by the celestial display above. A sense of awe and wonder fills the child's heart as they gaze upon the vast cosmic ocean, brimming with countless stars. The child's eyes dart from one star to another, noticing patterns, forming connections. They trace lines between the stars with their tiny finger, creating their own constellations, their imagination running wild under the starlit canvas. The child's heart swells with curiosity and an insatiable thirst for knowledge. The stars, those distant suns, have painted a picture that the child yearns to understand. The child points at the sky and asks, What are those patterns in the stars? Those patterns the child sees, we call them constellations. Now, what's a constellation you ask? Well, think of it like a cosmic connect the dots game. It's a group of stars that, when linked together in our minds, forms a particular pattern or picture. For thousands of years, people across the globe have been stargazing, finding these patterns and using them to tell stories. These tales range from epic battles between gods and monsters, to simple morals about the virtues of patience and humility. And just like a good book, each constellation has its own unique story to tell. But constellations are not just about storytelling, they've also been crucial for navigation. Before the days of GPS and compasses, ancient sailors would use constellations to guide their way across the vast oceans. The North Star, part of the Little Dipper constellation, has been a reliable guide for many adventurers, always pointing the way north. Now let's delve a bit into the science behind it. You see the stars in a constellation may appear close to each other from our perspective here on Earth, but in reality they can be light years apart in the vast expanse of space. Our minds simply connect these distant celestial bodies to form a coherent image, just like joining the dots in a puzzle. So how many constellations do you think there are? Did you know there are 88 official constellations? Yes, 88. You might think that's a lot, but the night sky is a big place, my friends. Now these constellations are not all bunched up in one part of the sky, they're spread out across both the northern and southern hemispheres. Let's break it down a bit. Imagine the sky as an enormous celestial pie. This pie is divided into two halves, the northern and southern halves. In the northern half we have 48 constellations while the southern half is home to 40 constellations. Each constellation has its own unique set of stars, forming different shapes and patterns. Some might look like a bear, a lion, or even a mythical hero. Isn't that fascinating? Now do you wonder how to find constellations? Finding constellations can be a bit like a treasure hunt. You see, the night sky is like a giant map filled with starry clues. The first thing you need to know is that constellations are not just random stars, but they form patterns, like a connect the dots game. So how about we go on a little adventure? Imagine yourself lying down on a blanket gazing up at the night sky. It's a clear night, and the stars are twinkling like tiny diamonds scattered across a black velvet canvas. Your first clue to finding constellations is to look for the brightest stars. They're like the anchors of the constellation. For example, the constellation Orion, named after a hunter from Greek mythology, is easy to spot because of its three bright stars in a straight line, known as Orion's Belt. Another famous constellation is Ursa Major, also known as the Big Bear. You might be more familiar with a part of it called the Big Dipper, a group of seven bright stars shaped like a ladle or a wagon. Then there's Pegasus, the flying horse, which is noticeable for its large square of four stars known as the Great Square of Pegasus. Remember, constellations can appear bigger or smaller depending on their distance from Earth, and they change position throughout the year due to Earth's rotation. So, keep your eyes peeled and your imaginations ready. Did you know that constellations vary in size? Just like us, constellations come in all shapes and sizes. Now let's meet the big guy and the little guy in our starry neighborhood. First up, meet Hydra, the water snake. It's the largest constellation, stretching across an incredible quarter of the sky. If Hydra were a giant, it would be like a giant so tall it could play jump rope with a rainbow. Now let's meet the smallest one, the Crux, also known as the Southern Cross. It's so tiny that it could easily hide behind the moon. If Crux were a mouse, it would be so small it could ride on the back of a bumblebee. Isn't it fascinating how the universe is filled with such diversity? Just as in our world, there's room for everyone, big and small, in the star-studded sky. So keep your eyes peeled and your mind open. 
Are you ready to learn about the 12 most common constellations? You might already know some of these famous constellations. Let's embark on a stellar journey through the night sky, exploring the 12 most common constellations. These star formations have been admired and studied for centuries, inspiring countless tales and myths. First up, meet Orion, the mighty hunter. This constellation is easily recognizable by its three-star belt. According to ancient Greek mythology, Orion was a giant huntsman whom Zeus placed among the stars as the constellation of Orion. Next we have Ursa Major, the Great Bear. It's one of the largest constellations and includes the Big Dipper, a group of seven bright stars. Its name hails from a Greek myth where a beautiful maiden named Callisto was turned into a bear and then placed in the sky by Zeus. Now let's gallop to Pegasus, the winged horse. This constellation is a large one, and it's named after the mythical creature from ancient Greek mythology that sprang from the blood of Medusa when Perseus beheaded her. Cassiopeia, the queen sitting on her throne, is our next stop. This constellation is shaped like a W or M, and it's named after a vain queen in Greek mythology who boasted about her unrivaled beauty. Next wag your imaginary tail for Canis Minor, the smaller dog. This constellation only has two stars and was said to represent one of Orion's hunting dogs. Last but not least let's howl for Canis Major, the bigger dog. This constellation contains Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky. It's also said to represent another one of Orion's hunting dogs. These constellations are not just clusters of stars, they are pieces of history, myths and stories that have been passed down through generations. They are a testament to the human imagination, and how we've used the stars to navigate, tell stories, and understand our place in the universe. Are you ready to test your knowledge? It's time to put on your thinking cap. Now let's see how much you've learned from our star-studded journey. Here we go. Question 1. What's a constellation? Is it A, a type of star? B, a group of stars forming a recognizable pattern? Or C, a type of galaxy? Moving on to question 2. Can you name the biggest star constellation? Is it A, Orion, B, Ursa Major, or C, Pegasus? And finally question 3. How many constellations are there? Are there A, 50, B, 88, or C, 100? Take your time, there's no rush. And remember it's okay if you don't know all the answers. The important thing is that you're learning and having fun. Great job, stargazers. Remember the sky is full of stories waiting for you to discover. You've done a stellar job learning about constellations today. We've taken a journey through the cosmos, uncovering the mysteries of the starry patterns that have fascinated humans for centuries. We've learned that constellations are not just random stars but carefully mapped groupings that tell stories and guide us in our exploration of the universe. We've discovered that there are 88 constellations in total, each with its unique shape and mythology. We've explored how to find these constellations, from the grandeur of Ursa Major to the delicacy of Canis Minor. And we've even learnt about the biggest and smallest constellations out there. And who could forget our famous dozen, Orion, Pegasus, Cassiopeia and the rest of the gang? These are the starry celebrities of our night sky. And now that you know them, I bet you can't wait to spot them in the sky above you. Don't forget to subscribe to Guru Kids Smart Kids channel for more fun and learning. Keep looking up and who knows, maybe you'll discover a new constellation someday.